Hi everybody, can we have your attention for a minute? Rick and I have an important announcement. That's right, Becky. After a lot of hard work and a lot of support from you guys, Percy Jackson is coming to Disney Plus. Yes! Yes. <laughs> More later. Hello and welcome to the Riordan Verse Report. Today I will be breaking down what we already know about the Disney Plus adaptation of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, which starts production tomorrow, June 2nd. So, whether this is your first time hearing about the show, or you've been following the development process over the past couple of years and want a refresher, I've got you covered. Two years ago, Rick Riordan posted a video to announce that his book series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, was going to be adapted by Disney Plus into a live-action series. This series promised to be a more faithful adaptation than the films, because this time, Rick Riordan himself, the author, was going to be overseeing the production and heavily involved with every step of the process. The series is set to adapt the novels on a one-book-per-season model. That means, right now, the first season is focusing on the first book, The Lightning Thief, and the season is set to consist of eight episodes. And, if the show is successful and renewed, it could end up being five seasons. There are no current plans for adaptations of subsequent series like The Heroes of Olympus, Magnus Chase, or The Trials of Apollo, but if Percy Jackson becomes really successful, it is something we might be able to expect Disney to look into. Side note, The Kane Chronicles has been picked up by Netflix to be adapted into a series of live-action films, so you can expect that in the future. However, since the rights for Percy Jackson and the Kane Chronicles were bought by different companies, we won't be able to see the crossover short stories, Demigods and Magicians, adapted to the screen. Production on Percy Jackson and the Olympians is set to start on June 2nd in Vancouver, Canada, and wrap on January 25th, 2023. Currently, there is no release date, but I would personally estimate a mid to late 2023 release date. And since the show will be on Disney+, Plus, episodes will likely release on a week-by-week -week basis. As we mentioned earlier in the video, Rick Riordan himself is heavily involved in the creation of the show. In fact, he and his wife, Becky Riordan, are both executive producers on the show, along with Jonathan E. Steinberg and Dan Schatz. Rick and Becky also started a production company called Mythomagic Incorporated to oversee the development of this and other adaptations of Rick's works. Beyond that, Rick and Becky are also both members of the writer's room, with Rick Riordan having written the pilot episode with Steinberg. James Bobin, known for directing the Muppets movies and Dora and the Lost City of Gold, was the first director signed on to the show, and he will be directing the pilot episode as well as the second episode of the series. Jet Wilkinson and Anders Engstrom have also signed on to direct for the show, though it is not yet known which episodes each will direct. Also on the team as the production designer is Oscar winner Dan Hanna, known for his work on The Lord of the Rings, and costume designer Tish Monahan, known for her work on the Twilight series. The show will be filmed at Mammoth Studios in Vancouver, where they plan to use similar filming technology to The Mandalorian. Industrial Light and Magic's volume stage, 360-degree virtual technology, which you can see here. They will also film at a few locations in the Vancouver area and have been scouting locations for the past few months, as shared by James Bobin and Rick Riordan. In the last week, camera tests have begun on their stage with the actors, as James Bobin shared on his Instagram. Speaking of the cast, not many actors have been revealed, but we do know who will be playing our trio. First, we have Walker Scobell, who will be playing the titular character, Percy Jackson. Walker was the first actor announced back in April, though he had been cast all the way back in January. The 13-year-old actor is most known for playing young Adam in The Adam Project on Netflix, where his character was the younger version of Ryan Reynolds' character. Walker is a huge fan of the series, having read all the books before even auditioning. On Walker, author Rick Riordan said, it was obvious to me and the rest of the team that Walker had the perfect mix of comedic timing, sweetness, rebelliousness, snark, and heroism to embody our hero, Percy Jackson. The next two cast members were announced on the same day and in the same post. First, we have Aryan Smadri, who just turned 16 last month, who will be playing Grover Underwood. 
He was most recently in another Disney Plus project, Cheaper by the Dozen, and in Disney Channel's Spin. About Arian, Rick said, In his auditions for Grover Underwood, Arian won our hearts. He had me laughing out loud with his delivery and timing. He has a mixture of sweetness, humor, and internal toughness that is perfect for our favorite satyr. Grover has some big flying shoes to fill, but Arian is exactly the right guy for the job. He and Walker already have a great dynamic together. Finally, we have our wise girl, Annabeth Chase, who will be played by Leia Sava Jeffries. You might recognize this 12-year-old from her work on Empire and Rel. She quickly became Rick Riordan's top choice for the role, and on her, he said, Leia is exactly the way I imagined Annabeth in the books. Smart, strong, and courageous. A true daughter of Athena who has zero patience for the foolishness of a certain seaweed brain. Watching her act with Walker and Arian, I saw Annabeth Chase come to life. As soon as you see her on the screen, you will know what I mean. The announcement for Annabeth and Grover also came with these photos of the trio together, and one with Rick Riordan. The cast has also been spotted hanging out and has shared some photos of them together in the past month. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see these three bring these roles to life. These three are the only roles we have confirmed at the moment. We do know that actor Simon Chin has joined the cast and will appear in episodes 1 or 2, though his role is unknown at the moment. The cast also did a table read for the first episode, and thanks to a tweet from Becky Riordan, we know they have an actor cast for Chiron. On him, she said, Chiron, OMG, so excited about this actor, spontaneously started laughing in the middle of the read. Happy tears here, people. With filming set to begin soon on episode one, they likely also have actors for that episode cast or very close to being cast for roles such as Nancy Boba Fett, Mrs. Dodds, Sally Jackson, and Gabe Ugliano, who all appear early in the first book. So I would expect casting announcements for them just around the corner. Casting calls have also already gone out for other characters this season. This includes the likes of Clarice, Luke, Medusa, and Selenus and Marin. We have not heard about any casting calls for characters like Ares, Poseidon, Zeus, or Hades, who all appear in the first book, but in the second half. Since the series is being adapted on a book-by-book -book basis per season, and since they are focusing on season one and the Lightning Thief at the moment, you should only really expect casting calls and announcements for characters that appear in the first book unless we learn otherwise. Characters like Nico or Rachel, who show up first in the third book, won't appear in the show anytime soon. Not to mention, the show will need to be successful enough and get renewed by Disney to get to that point. Characters like Jason and Hazel and others who are introduced in the Heroes of Olympus are years and years away from getting castings, if we are lucky. Now for the writer's room. As stated already, the pilot episode was written by Rick Riordan and Jonathan E. Steinberg. Also with them on the writing team are Becky Riordan, Daphne Olive, who worked on Black Sails, Monica Ousubreen, who has worked on Lost, Fringe, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Joe Trax, best known for his work on Netflix's A Series of Unfortunate Events and, notably, his work on The Lightning Thief musical. Side note, if you haven't looked into The Lightning Thief musical, I would highly recommend it, and take the fact that Rick picked the musical's writer to write for the show as a testament for how good the musical is. Joining the writers are assistants Xavier Stiles, Zoe Neary, and Stuart Strandberg, who have all contributed ideas to the show. We know that right now, the scripts for episodes 1 to 4 are pretty much done, and, according to the most recent update, they are currently working on outlines and scripts for the rest of the season. On the scripts, Rick said, I can tell you with 100% confidence that this season follows the Lightning Thief faithfully. Although, we're adding a lot of interesting nuances, depth, Easter eggs, and backstory that will keep the story fresh and fun, even if you know the books inside and out. And that wraps up what we currently know about the show right before production starts. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a like, and leave a comment down below with any fan castings you have for the characters that have not been cast yet. I will post more videos as we get more news, and I also plan to make some videos with my own theories, personal thoughts, and hopes for the show. So subscribe to stay up to date and get ready for some Percy discussions. 
With all that being said, this has been the Riordan Verse Report. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you with the next wave of news. Bye!